Well, Gary, let's start with Lloyd Jones. Obviously, good that his appeal was successful. You don't get him back for the 80 minutes at Sunderland, but nice really to approve that point and to guess, I guess, get as as you would say a bit of justice. Yeah, good morning. Yeah. Um yeah, it didn't help us up at Sunderland uh, after about 10, 11, 12 minutes, but uh it's good to have him uh, available for the weekend. So uh I think it was the right decision to overturn it. Uh I didn't think it was a sending off on a day and uh yeah, we got the the outcome that we wanted really. Yeah, unusually clear cut in that when you go to appeal, there's always the sense that it's hard to change the official's mind. But with this one, it it did seem very clear. Yeah, even when it happened on the day, I, I personally felt it wasn't a red card. So, uh, you know, it was hard enough It would if it had been a, 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 well, a penalty. It was a penalty, but then to get the sending off on top of that, it was a, a double whammy, if you like. So uh, it's good that we've got him uh, available for this weekend. Yeah, sets you up nicely because it wouldn't have been the end of the world, of course, to be without him given the nature of the final game. But it just makes life a, a little bit easier, adds to your options, where in defence it it has got a little thin. Yeah, definitely. Um, but he, he's also playing very, very well. So uh, he wanted to fi finish the season, you know, performing well um, and then have the break during the summer. So uh, it would have been a wrong way to finish this season with the, you know, the period of time that he was out, but uh, at least he can finish the season now with a, uh, hopefully a good performance and a result under his belt. Is the injury picture much the same ahead of the final day, just the same players out? Yeah, very similar to last weekend, yeah. So uh, it, it does help that Lloyd is available for us this weekend. Just looking at, at Cheltenham, much like yourselves, really, have had a, a great season. They'll be very satisfied with what they've done to be sitting nicely in mid-table. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, they've had a real good season. They'll be, I'm sure, you know, they'll be satisfied with uh, where they are in the league. You know, the manager, Michael, has done a, an extremely good job down there with his staff and the players. So, uh, you know, as we said there, they'll be really satisfied with the season. But that also, they'll want to finish it on a high. Yeah, they've been particularly strong at home with a notable exception in when you went to, to Cheltenham in December and a strange game in the sense of it, it was so tight for the first half and then you took control and really ran with it. Yeah, it was a good evening for us, but uh, that could be extra motivation for them, you know, to uh, to come here and get the result uh, for themselves. But um, we just got to take care of ourselves, make sure that uh, whoever selected um, goes out and performs to the levels that we ask and uh, we get the result that we want. And one of these games where with the preparation, it's a little trickier because much like yourself, Cheltenham's starting to look at a few different players, give people a go. Yeah, you know, they've done very similar uh, with different formations and stuff like that over the last few weeks. We've done the same. You know, we've we've played different uh, players to have a look at them, give them some, you know, minutes as well. And, you know, especially for some of the younger players as well to get more experience at this level. So, um, you know, we'll have a look at over the next day or so and then decide which way we go with it. Just to look back over the season as a whole, one of the things that Mark said to us right at the start, I think one of the phrases he used, he wanted to see you taking on everybody and fearing nobody. And that's actually a, a pretty good reflection of how it's turned out to have been so competitive in, in so many games. Yeah, you know... It's a challenging league, as we know, and we knew that when we come into it. But, um, you know, we've uh, had some real good um, memories of, for this season with some of the performances and results that we've got. And, you know, against uh, the top sides, we've, we've been able to perform well. Unfortunately, last weekend, going down to 10, it was going to be hard with 11, but we went down to 10. So that made it even harder for us. But, um it's been a good good year for us. Now we've got to maintain that and build on that. And uh, it'll be challenging again next year, but one that uh, we'll look forward to when that comes around. Yeah, how would you compare the progress from this season with last season, last time around winning a promotion, but finishing mid-table in League One? Would you say that as a level of achievement, they they pretty much match one another for just how, how tough it's been? I think so. You know, the promotion was fantastic. Um, and it was a great year, you know, for everybody at the club. But this year, you know, the, 
the standard um, of players that we're coming up against, uh, clubs that we're coming up against, you know, the, the calibre of manager and, you know, everything else that you throw into that mix. I think this is on a par with it, you know, and to be able to go into the summer uh, knowing that we're going to compete again at this level next season, um, I think it's on a, on a par. Yeah, the makeup of the league is fascinating, isn't it? The variety of challenges, the fact that some of the clubs have such huge history, such big resources, and then you've got other teams who have been at lower level, have smaller fan bases, and dealing with those challenges and how you go about it, it can really vary week to week. Yeah, I think you summed it up really well there. You know, you know, we're coming up against massive clubs with, um, you know, as you say, history. Um, every game's different you know tactically it's different whereas last year in the main um, you could predict what teams were going to you know formations that were going to play this year it changes week by week so it's been that side of it's been challenging and been very very good um, but you know there's there's some massive clubs in this uh, division and uh, you know it's great when you go to their stadiums in front of them no, even last week at Sunderland and you know 30 plus thousand people, you know, attending the game. So uh, that wasn't the most memorable uh, afternoon for us, but we've had some memorable ones this year. As a management team, as a management group, how much have you grown over the past couple of years, both your relationship with Mark and Barry Corr coming more strongly into the mix as well, all of those layers that you've added on? Well, I think from day one, you know, you know, relationships, uh, my relationship with uh, Mark has been great from day one. And then, you know, Baz has, you know, added to that. Um, and it, all the staff have, you know, and I think with success that we had last year with the promotion, um, you know, you gain confidence from that as well uh, and belief and respect and everything else. And this year as well, it's, it's no similar. And, and the longer you're together, uh, I suppose, the stronger you become. And, you know, with the, the group of players we've also got, you know, the staff and the, the group of players have been great. And also, you know, the, the supporters as well. You know, they believe in what's been done um, and they've backed us both home and away. So, you know, you pull that all together into one and, you know, you become a force. And uh, it's been like that over the last couple of years. And we, we've got to maintain that. And that's easier said than done, you know, because... It's challenging. We're going to have periods where it doesn't go so well and uh, we just got pulled together and we have done over the last couple of years. On a, a personal level for you, you've been both the manager, currently an assistant. Do you feel this is your niche? Is this what brings out the, the best of you? How do you see it? I don't know. Uh, you'd have to ask other people of that, I think. You know, you know, it's a difficult question for me to answer, but uh, I enjoy the role. I want to help people um, and obviously I've, I've had some experience in this game uh, both as a manager and as a, uh, an assistant so uh, as I say I've enjoyed the role but I think that question you'd have to ask somebody you know other people about that if uh, if I if I'm doing okay at it. And just to finish how's the knee getting on? I'm getting there slowly um, you know it's uh, it was a, a major operation I had so uh it does take time, but uh, I'd like to fast forward a couple of months just to see where I am. Cool, that's great for me. Thank you. Morning, Gary. You've um, you've spoken about the progress that the club has made over the last couple of years. What's the, what's the aim for the club now moving forward? Well, to keep moving it forward. Um, and again, that's easier said than done. You know, we've got to. That's our aim. That's our focus to do that over the over the summer into the new, you know, campaign when that starts. We've got to try and keep taking it forward, uh, progressing along the way. Um, and, you know, hard work and effort and everything else will do that. So that's our aim to do that. How important is it to finish the season off with a win? Yeah, we, we want to finish off with a win. Um, I don't think that will define the season that's just gone. And I don't think that will have an impact uh, on the new campaign, you know. But it will be nice to finish uh, with a win in front of the, our home crowd. Um, but as I say there, we've had a good season uh, up until this point, uh, and that won't change. Uh, and will it have an impact going into next season? You know, if we win, 
Uh, that would be great. But if we lose, I don't think that will have any impact going into the new campaign. Yeah, you touched on it there as well. How good it would, would it be to have a nice send off at the Abbey this weekend to, to celebrate what's been a good season? Yeah, it, it, look, that would be the the ideal way of uh, completing the season, you know, to get a, a good performance and a good result, uh, a win at home in front of our home fans. That would be the ideal way of doing it, just to top off a, a really good campaign. Just to ask about Sam Shering as well, he was um, considered um, to be expected to be ruled out for the rest of the season. Is he definitely not available for Saturday? Yeah, he won't be available at all, no. He's... Uh, Unfortunately, he won't be, no. I have to ask about Wes Houlihan as well. Will this be his final game in a Cambridge United shirt? I don't know. I don't know. Wes is preparing for the game. Um, you know, talks will take place with the players that are out of contract uh, over the next few days. Uh, and as I say, Wes is preparing for the game this Saturday. Will he be involved this weekend? I hope so. I'm sure he will be. Um, you know, he'll train today uh, and tomorrow. And then, uh, you know, we'll sit down and discuss what we feel is the right team for this particular game. So, uh, you know, he, he, he'll be training today and then we'll see where we are. Just on yourself as well, I couldn't actually find it anywhere. What's your contract situation um, in terms of how long you've got left on your contract? Well, I'm here today, so I'm quite pleased with that. Um, no, I'm, I'm, I'm here. I've, uh, you know, everything's in place for me to, to continue here. So uh, I'm delighted, you know, that um, I'm able to be able to, to do that and say that. OK, thanks, Gary. Thank you. Hi, Gary. Just a really quick one. You know, we, we always hear people talk about typical end of season games. Is there anything within that you can do to avoid that, <laughs> falling into that sort of cliche and make it end to end and expansive? Um, yeah, and everybody will say that because of where we are and where uh, Cheltenham are in the league, but look, we want to win the game, so we're going to approach it in the, the manner that we always do. We'll you know, prepare properly for the game, we'll be pre uh, professional um, you know, today, tomorrow, and then uh, on the game Saturday, the only change is an earlier kickoff, so we'll work our way around that, um, but we want to win. And we'll be thoroughly professional about that. So there's no sort of a way that you take a more expansive approach and go, let's go for it and <laughs> throw, throw caution to the wind. It's about getting the job done, as it were. Well, yeah, we want to get the job done. We may, we may change personnel. Uh, and if we can win the game 7-6, that'd be great. But I'll, I'll take a 1-0 just to win it. That's great. 